guys, welcome back to another episode of I Am I. My name is Joshua Ansley, and coming to you from the Magic Gardens here in Philadelphia. Um, this place is... I'm actually getting really moved to just try to talk. <laughs> uh, it's really powerful. It's beautiful. It's, I mean, this, apparently the guy, the artist who did it is about 80 years old. He's been working on it since 91. Um, so... Was you know thirty years something like that? It's, uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's really remarkable, and it's just a testament to what you know. It's like you see this reality that this artist has created. It's a, I, I think it's a him. I have to find out more research and stuff like that. Sorry, I don't have that information, but the reality that he has created for himself. You know, I don't know anything about him, but it's it's absolutely beautiful to just walk down a row of this and see. That you can that, that you can actually create this reality for yourself that you can live in every day, you know that you can bring it into manifestation in this world, in this life, into a, I'm not supposed to touch it, but into a tangible space. Oh, they they do have tours for the blind, so that you can like touch guided tours. Anyway, I I, I just think it's beautiful as an artist. You know, I, I recognize what blocks me so much. Uh, or I try to recognize what blocks me and see where I'm, I'm stunted and stopped and like had no idea for so much of my life that I was being stunted by uh, that it's all myself, that it's all me and you hear these things and we or I hear these things from listening to things like that where it's like you're the only person standing in your own way and I used to even get rubbed the wrong way by that because I'm like you don't understand how the world or my circumstances or these things are blocking me and, and I, I just I, I'm not going to even speak to you because I don't really care whether or not you recognize that or do that on your own. If you want to have things you know, or, or blame the world for your circumstances, it doesn't mean those circumstances aren't there, but then it's how do we adjust and how do we make it actually happen? How do we create that space for ourselves? Because I recognize my my depression, my moods, my, my anything is, is all actually about how I'm relating to the world in some way and, and what has stopped me from stepping into the magnitude of my own potential and actually recognizing the magnitude of my own potential and I can see how it was how I was raised or how the world has influenced me and my conditioning and this program that's all there yes and then but it's my responsibility to change that to create my reality and like if you if you don't see it I understand that there's like chemicals imbalanced in us and all kinds of things and, and it's a struggle and it's difficult and yes it's a fucking struggle but we've got to be able to lift up and rise into that space of, of love and creating something beautiful in this life so we can You can bring this light into this world for people to see. And you can bring your light, and you don't even recognize where this crap is stopping you from having your light shine into this world. You know? I just want to be able to let my light shine. It's so fucking stupid. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. <laughs> You know, I'm going to lead a men's retreat tomorrow, so I'm doing this. I would love to do it from up there, the vlog, but I have no idea what the internet capability is going to be like and stuff like that. And I think it's even just perfect. It always, always works out perfectly. That my, my, my beautiful partner brought me here today, and, and she showed me this, and it's just you know, absolutely opening me up. And I, I, I see that I, I went to do this great meeting last night of, of, of opening up and helping people in, in, a, in a community that somebody is creating that is, is, is coming together to help people find themselves and to be able to help them move into the space of living the greatest possible life, you know? And I, and I, I, I'm not able to do it from the, from the, the retreat, but the fact that I'm getting to be able to do this retreat, the fact that I got to go last night and help people and share some of the wisdom that I've received, you know, it's not my, it's not because I'm wise or smart or any of that stuff, it's just wisdom that I've received, it's ancient understandings, right, and, and the ability to go and share that with people is becoming just a life passion of mine, and, and through my artistry, so that I can bring my art into this world, through the music that I want to make, it, like my life is transforming into finally living with purpose on deeper levels that I can never even imagine, and I just want that for everybody I want everybody to understand I want to help guide people through their crap through the stuff because it's it's all there we've all got it but we don't even understand how it's happening inside of us how it's tearing us down and we don't even know it and we just blame the external world or get stuck in, in even our own shit and, and it's, it's such a hard journey it's just so fucking difficult so I just want you to know that I love you if you're watching this I love you if you're not watching this I love you I just want to love just want to build love so we can all be connected in this understanding and stop being separate and hating, right? And, and 
just bring a space a self into a space of connection and that's that's all i want to say is to just okay not even know i there's not really a point to this vlog but it's beautiful and it's magical and let your light shine and let your fucking art shine and lakesha lakin i am you you are me Namaste.